I'm Troy Kirby with a quick look at the 2022 Washington State Legislative Session. The House Environment and Energy Committee heard public testimony on Substitute Senate Bill 5818, which would promote housing construction in cities through amendments and limited appeals under the state's Growth Management Act. The bill passed the Senate 44-5 and would have to pass the House in order to go to the governor's office for an opportunity to become law. Senate Bill 5818 would exempt a number of different types of actions from certain forms of review and appeal under both the Growth Management Act and the State Environmental Policy Act. Under the GMA, certain non-project actions, such as the adoption of ordinances and amendments to development regulations that relate to increased housing capacity are not subject to appeal under either SEPA or the GMA if the adoption occurs prior to April 1, 2023. And also, both the SEPA statute and the SEPA rules adopted by Department of Ecology identify a number of different elements that must be addressed, elements of the environment, excuse me, that must be addressed as part of the environmental review process. The solution to homelessness is housing, and the state has a shortage of a quarter of a million of units of affordable housing. We supported House Bill 1220, which mandates local comprehensive planning jurisdiction to include a full spectrum of housing in the next update. And we support appropriate local development regulations and design review. By not allowing certain types of appeals, this bill will simplify the process for constructing new housing, provided that GMA and development regulations relations have been followed. We think it's important that we continue to move along this path to see if there are any areas, even around the margins, we can make changes to help remove duplication and to expedite more construction of housing. One piece that I just want to stress there as in my day job, I'm a land use attorney and I have seen how the weaponization of SEPA appeals can delay housing projects for years. And in this housing crisis, housing delayed is as good as housing denied. We have said that we want to put housing. So we would encourage passage of this bill. We um, are know that there are conversations happening around this bill and changes to the bill. I would also very much caution against watering the bill down more. Uh, if we want this to work, we need it to be robust. And we would also caution against going backwards and requiring more things that are not currently required in SEPA. First, it will allow cities to exempt more housing projects from SEPA review if they can prove that the same rigor of environmental protections will be maintained. This will save local governments and builders um, money and will provide more certainty that the needing ha needed housing uh, across the state will be built expeditiously. And this is the uh, ability to implement those significant changes that we had last year to make sure that we're planning for all income levels and that those houses uh, and development can occur where they have been slated. Thank you for watching the 2022 Washington State Legislative Session.